we're all three committed to keeping Texas both fiscally and politically the complete opposite of Washington, D.C. We want to protect the freedoms and liberties of all Texans and keep our spending as low as we can and balance our budget without raising taxes. Now, it's not lost on me when we look at, when we look at Texas in a micro sense and that the state of Texas is rated the number one state in the country to do business, has got the strongest economy, fastest growing job creation, number one in exports over the last 10 years, it's also number one in the fastest growing population. That's a sobering fact. Over the next four to five decades, our population is going to double, meaning that we're going to have to increase our capacities for both our public school classrooms, our drinking water, our highway capacity, our power by some 20 to 25 percent. As a lifelong businessman, I know how hard it is to get to the top, but it's even harder to stay on top. And that's the legacy I want to leave and I think we want to leave going forward. Keep Texas number one. So I'm very excited about this session. I think we've got a great opportunity to set in place um, the legacy for Texas to stay both fiscally and, ser and socially the most conservative state in the country for decades to come. Uh, we're the, a shining beacon right now for jobs and economic opportunity as was shown in the Comptroller's report in which, which the governor spoke about. So right now people are voting with their feet for Texas and uh, that's why I think it's important that we be very, very careful uh, with our budget and we plan for the future and we, conserved, we continue to have a fiscally balanced approach uh, with our budget.